those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no, the patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello, Gecko. Is everything okay? How's that sore arm of yours healing? Oh, fine, thanks to you, Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the Animal Ambulance is in the garage for repairs, but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped! And she's wrecking my garage! That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy but she's safely back where she belongs. All thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up. They work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks Robbo, but oh look, there seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. Hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye! Hello everyone. Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone. It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. 
Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know just the mixer, Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. The truck wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise. Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear. The traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games. Ryan has a piñata with sweets and Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of pass the parcel and here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko just the party hats left to get found them phew come on Florence let's take all these cones back to the garage I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for Shh, everybody, here he comes. Three, two, one, surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question, what did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course! <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko! Thank you for visiting Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Dr Poppy and welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a special hospital just for pets. I'm a vet so my job is to treat poorly animals and make them better again. Shall we see who's in the waiting room today? Oh look, we have three animals to see today. It's Sarah the cat, Jake the spider and Colin the chameleon. Shall we find out what's the matter with them? Let's welcome our first animal, Sarah the cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah, shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have 
a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm. Let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three. Three beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Here's Colin the chameleon. Chameleons are a special type of lizard. And did you know that the tongue of a chameleon can be longer than its entire body? Now then, Colin, what can we do for you? A chameleon has special skin, which means they can change colour to blend in with their background. This is called camouflage. Let's test it out, shall we, Colin? Hey guys, meet Robbo. Hello everyone. Robbo is my friendly robot helper here in the treatment room. That's right. I've got all of the tools that we need to help the animals feel better again. I can even use my tickling stick. <laughs> Robbo, please can you swap the colours of the backgrounds for Colin and we'll see if he can change to the right colour. Red. This is red. But oh dear look, Colin has changed to blue. Yellow. This is yellow. But Colin has changed to red. Green. This is green. But Colin has changed to orange. There's definitely a problem here. Robbo, I think Colin needs to relearn which colours are which. Test you again, Colin. Red. Well done, Colin. We can hardly see you. You're red. Yellow. Excellent work, Colin. You're now yellow. Green. Perfect. You got all three right, Colin. You're now a lovely shade of green. It looks like you're all cured. Here comes Jake the spider. Some people think that spiders are insects, but that's not true. Spiders are actually members of the arachnid family. Oh dear, Jake. It looks like you're limping on one of your legs. What happened? That sounds like a nasty fall. Let me take a look at that for you. Robbo, 
I think we need to take an x-ray of one of Jake's legs. One x-ray coming right up. Spiders don't have bones like you and me. They are arthropods, which means their skeleton is on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. If you look, you can clearly see here that poor Jake has broken one of his legs. I think we need to put that leg in a cast, which will give it the support it needs whilst it heals. Whilst Robbo is putting Jake's cast on, shall we count how many legs Jake has? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. All spiders have eight legs. That's you all fixed, Jake. Now don't climb any walls or water spouts for two weeks and try to get plenty of rest. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. Robbo, shall we see who's in the waiting room today? It's my friends Lucy the goldfish, Joe the stick insect and Gordon the hamster. Shall we find out what's wrong with them? Here comes Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong. But I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells Fish! Well done! I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. 
You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coats of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor. You can wear these anytime you want to. And we will see you. Yes, we can see you. Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic. You really stand out. I love the jacket. It's a perfect fit. You look amazing. We can see you. That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes, we can see you! Great! Who's our last patient at the Pet Rescue Centre today? This is Gordon the Hamster! Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. What a wonderful day we've had at the centre today. Three animals cured. See you next time, everybody. Bye! Hello, I'm Dr Poppy and this is Robbo. Welcome back to the Pet Rescue Centre, a hospital just for poorly pets. The waiting room looks quite full today, but not to worry. We have Henrietta the Hen, <coughs> Jimmy the Rabbit and Boris the Puffer Fish. Let's see if we can make them all feel better. Here comes Henrietta Hen. <coughs> Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta
But what is the right shape? Can anybody guess? Is it a square? No, that's not right. Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite. Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval. An oval. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta, what's the right shape? Egg, it's an oval, an oval. Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. Here comes Jimmy the rabbit. Oh dear, it looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, the squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Here comes Boris the puffer fish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm. I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. What a day it's been at the Pet Rescue Centre today. I hope you've had as much fun as we did. See you next time from me, Dr Poppy. And from me, Robbo. Bye. Hello everyone. I think it's going to be another busy day in the treatment room today. Shall we see who's in the waiting room? Oh look, it's Alice the ant and her family, Lily the dog, and, and, hmm, I'm sure I had another appointment. Yes, Dr Poppy. Felix the tortoise has an appointment at 10 o'clock, which is now. But he hasn't arrived yet. OK, I'm sure he'll turn up. In the meantime, let's welcome Alice the Ant. 
Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello Alice, what's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? I see Alice, you've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own, you're making life more tricky, whereas you could make it known that you need a little help and your friends can clearly see a help is welcome, work together, that's the key. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on. Share the load, you need a little give and take. We can help each other to be strong and to be brave. When you're worrying about the you've not yet done Togetherness works wonders and you can work as one On your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end Don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend Share the load It's going to help each one of strong and to be brave share the load it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on share the load you need a little give and take we can help each other to be strong and to be brave share the load There you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done. You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh dear. It's 10.30 and it looks like Felix still isn't here. Let's take a look at Lily then, shall we? Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks, even if they're buried under deep snow? Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Aha! Just as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo! Can you fetch the flea vacuum, please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. Oh look, here comes Felix at 11 o'clock. Felix, you're an hour late. 
Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates. Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready, steady, go! Well done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. Thanks very much for visiting the Pet Rescue Centre today. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.